Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shook. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. Because I'm the hurt child. Became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. Y'all week been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. So, you know where you'd like to start? Any part that you'd like to get to know better, change your relationship with? I think I'd like to get to know that explainer part I just mentioned a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's something that comes up when you're when you're thinking about this process and just kind of like wanting to explain it rather than I don't know, go with it. Is that right? Something like that. Yeah, that's that's definitely something that happens. Yeah. And when does it show up? Is it just in like sessions like this or? Mm -hmm. No, it shows up uh, in a lot of areas of life. Mm -hmm. Kind of think of this one trailhead where one of my friends, uh, where we were just kind of having like an honest conversation with each other about aspects of our personality. And she told me I have this thing where like, I'm just like, if you're like, you're like really smart, but you like, you feel like you can explain everything and you feel mm -hmm. like you can, yeah. Like, I, and honestly, it rings true. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I, I can't explain my way out of anything. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of am thinking also of like, I mean, if, if there's plenty of girls that probably would tell you, Brandon talks really fast and talks a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely comes up in social situations. All right. I noticed you said like, explain your way out of anything. Kind of like it's used as a, I don't know if you're if you're stuck or in trouble or under uh, being accused or something. I don't know if that if, if it comes up more with that or is it just kind of like just in general. I feel like in general. Mm -hmm. But it comes up with that too, explaining myself out of anything. Like, uh, so. What 
Where do you notice it in or around your body when it comes up? Get that same feeling in my legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last time you talked about like flexing them or wanting to wanting to get moving kind of feeling. Yeah, it's that same kind of feeling. It's like I can feel my calf muscles flexing. Mm -hmm. Last time it was on the left. This time it's both. Okay. And as you notice it there, how do you feel towards it? It's definitely curiosity. There's some familiarity already. I, I guess it's pretty easy for me to make the connection that I'm, I'm somebody who I definitely complain about feeling misunderstood a lot. When people just mm -hmm. me. And when I sat with that, that I explain this explainer part is explaining my way out of things it's uh, i guess it's kind of coming to me that it's like i feel like i should be able to or part of me feels like i should be able to explain my way into being understood by people hmm. but it doesn't really work a lot of the times and a part of me is really yeah. disappointed in that. You say disappointed? Yeah, part of me is disappointed that it doesn't work a lot of the times. Yeah. Okay. But there's also a part of me that when I explain something and I can tell somebody's getting it, or they're like hanging on to what I'm explaining, it feels like I'm accomplishing something. Yeah. Okay. So this is coming from that part. I don't know if it's coming it, from that part. Uh, the parts okay. that feel that sense of disappointment and accomplishment feel outside of that part almost. Okay. Those are good to, good to make note of. Um, and they might, if they're not coming from the part, they might be good to, to ask those parts to step back. If they have kind of judgment around the, the performance of the explainer, explaining part. Just do whatever you can do to get them to relax and let the explaining part know that you're curious about it and invite it to a conversation. How's it responding? still there. Okay. Do you want to just try asking it what it would like for you to know? No, I'm just, uh, it's showing me a lot of trailheads. <laughs> There's examples of me explaining things. Mm -hmm. 
even with my sessions, mm -hmm. it's making yeah. me kind of think about how, I guess something I just look at as a quirk of mine, I'm, I'm the type who has to explain what's going on inside of my head to the person I'm doing it with. I can't just like, I don't know. It's a very open part. It feels like it's a very open part and it gets frustrated that other people aren't as open with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it has that feeling of, of like it has to explain. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. It feels like it'll get something if it explains. Mm -hmm. And is any of that making sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, great. Okay, so see if you can just show it. Show it that that makes sense to you. Let it know you see its situation that it's in. And we might have already gotten the answer to this, but you could try asking what it's afraid would happen if it doesn't do its job or get your attention that way. Uh, well, that question made it really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, made me squirm in my seat a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that misunderstood feeling kind of comes up some. Yeah. Does it seem like that's the, uh, that's what it's wanting you to protect you from is that pain of being, feeling misunderstood. Yeah, that's part of it. And I just want to back up and say, of course, if any I don't want to push past any parts concerns or discomfort. Like if you're uncomfortable, if this part's uncomfortable, you know, you don't, you don't owe me any explanation or conversation around it. I want you to trust your, trust your own direction here. Me and my parts are thankful for your consideration. Mm -hmm. That part is protecting me from feelings of inadequacy. Yeah. And that does that also make sense to you how that dynamic works? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Great. See so if you can just show it some appreciation for that uh, intention of its that it has. Yeah, I really do appreciate it.
it does. Hmm. Really is one big family inside of here. Uh, yeah. And that explainer part, if I feel too misunderstood, there's multiple reactions that can happen. But one of them is that I can get upset if I feel inadequate. Yeah. I tend to cover that up with anger. I just had a session where I worked a lot with that angry part. And a lot of my parts are very fearful of that angry part. See mm. how big it can get. Take up an entire room, suffocate all of them. So that's part of the explainer parts job. As long as, as long as I feel like, uh, yeah, that there's a part of me that really gets annoyed when I feel like people are misconstruing what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, there's a part of me that really just the idea of me trying to explain something and people not getting it. There's a part of me that really is just like, screw you. Yeah. Yeah. You might kind of probe a little further with that. Like, that's the concern of this part. And what, like, what's so bad about that? What's, what's the fear behind that of if you were misconstrued, misunderstood? It just... Army just feels like it isn't fair. Mm -hmm. So since we talked about it a little bit before before uh, the session here, you know, I'm hearing these parts that feel misunderstood, feel inadequate, I'm hearing those as, as kind of having exile kind of energy, and I could be wrong about that. Um, so would you like to, would it make sense to keep getting to know this part or to shift with its with its permission and shift and and look more at these at these other feelings and and you might want to ask the part that if it's where it is It's okay to shift. Mm -hmm. So just checking that's this part that's doing this protective job. It's it trusts you to to go work with these other parts. Yeah, it does. It said it's gonna sit down and read a book while I do. There you go. Great. Cool. Well, thanks to that part. And um, I know you had other parts that may have been orbiting. And so just kind of one more like check on if there's any other parts that have concerns about you uh, working with this, these other parts that feel inadequate, for example. I 
it's fine. There's an open path. Great. Okay. So where do you notice? Where do you notice this other part or parts in or around your body? I don't know, it feels like a black hole inside of my stomach. Okay. And how are you feeling towards it now? I feel compassionate. Great. So just stay with that. Keep keep showing that part, that compassion. Just see what else it would like to share with you to help you understand it. or anything about anything it would like to share. You receiving anything? Just a desire to fill that space. And is that desire coming from the part? Or does that feel like your own, your desire? It's my own desire. Mm -hmm. Do you notice an age that this part is or that its energy has? It's 11. Mm -hmm. And how are you being with it? Does Is it aware of you there with it? It's not. It's it's extremely it's just numb. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel a single thing, or at least it doesn't feel like it does. I know there's something in there. Hmm. 
A lot of my persona is built around my intelligence and this part carries every single time that I perceived that I was called stupid. Mm. And eventually that overwhelmed it. And so in this hard black shell. Yeah. So I don't really know what will get it to come out, but it will eventually. Yeah. And You know, our goal isn't to to change it as much as just to understand it. So you could maybe let it know now what what it is that you already see about it, that you see that it's in that place. You see its age, you see how it got there. You see how, how it's feeling or why it's feeling that way. And just let it know that you're, that you want to be there for it, that you're open to helping it. How's it going? Pretty good. Parts aware of you? It is. It doesn't want to come out yet, though. That's it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a black hole at first, but it ended up being like a, like a black shell more than anything. I can put my mm -hmm. hand on the outside of it. So I've just been rubbing it. Yeah. And it's, it's all right with you being there and, and being with it in this way. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. I'm going to leave it at the base of this tree. Mm -hmm. how, how did how did that uh, come about? Is it something it, 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 it appreciates or just feels right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess. feels like I'm in a forest. My mind feels like a forest. I can tell that I have protectors watching right now. Yeah. They're not bothering me. They just, they're only going to go so far away. Yeah. But I know that they'll keep it safe. We'll keep this part safe until I come back. And I'll make sure to come back to this part of the forest and just spend some more time sitting under the tree. Um, yeah. This tree. It's towards the edge of the forest, so. <laughs> I have another exile that is named Little Buddy, and he's deeper mm -hmm. inside the forest. Is the what inside it? He's deeper inside the forest. Oh. So uh, me and him play when I go to see him. This one, nice. I feel like we're going to watch the clouds because that's something I really like to do. Yeah. And so I'll come back. And since we're at the edge of the forest, it'll be easy to just watch the clouds. There you go. Yeah. All of that feels right. Yeah. Yeah, and it sounds like your intuition is is really you know spot on and, and guiding you to to do what's to do what's best here. If I was gonna make a suggestion, it would only be to you know, when you are with that part, to just stay inquisitive about, you know, what what it can show you just to just to help you understand it and to help it trust you. You know, what does it need? What does it need for you to know so that it will really trust you? I'm excited to find out. Yeah. So am I reading it? Am I reading you right that you're wanting to return to this part at, an, at another time and and not you know not keep asking it questions now or yeah I would say that this, yeah that's correct need to go back and check in with my explainer part. Awesome. Go for it. And and thanks to this part, you know, and 
There's there's definitely a couple other protectors around. Like I can I can f I could feel their presence. They didn't really introduce themselves, but I could feel their presence. Yeah. I think because I've gone deeper into the forest before, there's a certain amount uh -huh. of rest. Yeah, that's what it is. Because I can tell that these are two different exiles. Because yeah, the one in the forest is like four or five years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is this one you had met before or worked with before? Yeah, I've worked with that one before. Uh, this uh, this eleven year old part? Well, no, I haven't. It's great. Congratulations on meeting and meeting in exile. Yeah, okay. Gonna make my explainer part. You had to get one last explanation in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I mean, it's a valuable, valuable role. Yeah. He's letting me know that he likes, he really likes to write. So he took some notes. I thought he was just reading a book, but he took notes. So. Are his notes regarding this inner system or are they in this part or are they separate? The notes regarding this interaction, but yeah. I I'm definitely getting the feeling that I should write about my parts more. I think that's what he's trying to tell me. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. It's a great to get that perspective from any protectors. You know, they have so much familiarity with, with the system that it's great to like get those pointers, see what else, see what other breadcrumbs or other you know, directions they might offer for doing this work. Because it sounds like they're able to step back. They're able to trust you to do the work. And they also have, you know, their own uh, experience and perspective to offer. Yeah. yeah I'm going to try that. Yeah, just check in, see if any of them have any other pointers. Around working with this part. I'm very thankful. I wasn't expecting to get some tips. It's almost like the explainer part is offering his help. It's like, instead of externally explaining, he can help <laughs> internally explain things. Yeah. Yeah. Super valuable. Okay. He said bye. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you to that part too. Um, is there anything else? Any other parts that have any other questions or concerns or tips? Any, any other work you'd like to, anything else you'd like to learn from any other parts now? No, mm -hmm. I think that's it. He uh, <laughs> said bye. He was the last one there. I just yeah. open my eyes and I'm like, God, oh, damn, my parts are out of the forest. Good. Yeah, I'm just, I just opened my eyes and looked at the clock and was like, damn, I guess my parts knew exactly what time it was. 
Uh, I haven't been watching, but yeah, that just happened. Very uh, great. It's very good, but yeah, out of the forest. <laughs> That was pretty interesting. That's the first time I've ever thought that's ever come to me like that. That uh, that was a, a forest. Yeah. And I'm trusting that, I mean, you're into IFS enough that when you say you're going to follow up with a part, like you have a, you have a good system for that, or it sounds like you might, might have a new system for that when it comes to writing about them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess that's the best way to put it. I, I do have a, I do have a system. I do check in. But uh, might be adding. I guess I'll be adding to that. Yeah, uh, it's something I do, and it's been really helpful for me. I'm writing it out. Huh. Excited to try. <laughs> yeah. Well, how do we do? Any other questions? Feedback for me? Anything? Anything else you want to share? No, that was a uh, that was a good experience. Um, yeah, that was a that was a good experience. Nothing else to share, really. Just that that was that was awesome. And I, I think so too. Next time. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, thanks again. Thanks for sharing all of it. It's really incredible. Till next time, James. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Hope. Yeah. Have a nice day. Same to you. Adios. All right. Take care. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self-energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.